This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, 25th of, of October. <clears throat> for the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow had earlier in the futures been up quite a bit because Microsoft and Boeing were doing well. Uh, even Triple M yesterday held its gain. We're looking at the Dow now down uh, 90 points at 33,050. What's intriguing about this is that the arch formation is persisting to the downside and it really looks like it wants to test the 32,846 level. Yeah, we are at 33,025, a little bit of a way to go there. S&P, though, did take out the left side low <clears throat> on Monday, had a bounce yesterday, and now it's down 43 at 4203. Google's part of that, a number of stocks actually are part of that. Very weak, and the S&P weekly chart is continuing with this nine-period moving average, now negative. But wait a minute, we were waiting the NDX Futures went negative, but the actual uh, QQQ weekly chart still remained positive. But today, we're seeing an S. That S doesn't mean to say that it's going to be a negative 9-period moving average under the 14-period moving average at 4 o'clock on Friday. But we're watching to see if it holds all week. But we are down 5.5 at 353.70. IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps, down sharply, take almost taking out the low from 2022, very, very ugly, down two and a half at 163.90. Gold is holding very nicely here. Gold is up eight at 1994, kind of the, the area, the go to area in Middle East conflicts. And we're looking at the dollar. Now, this is going to be fascinating. Has the dollar given anything back? Well, it's at 106.45, right at that inside track repellent line, holding well. The nine period moving average is still positive. They, they're two different animals right now. Gold is for the fear of geopolitical fear, and the dollar is the financial currency fear. Looking at crude oil, let's just go to crude oil quickly. Crude oil is down uh, a little bit at 83, and we're looking at bonds, the TLT. Ay, ay, ay. The TLT is down, yields up. I'll be back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. Check out my people daily newsletter. See you in a few moments. Very important session, just like yesterday. But this is even more important in the H pattern.